Hi friends, thanks for stopping by. This is Christy from Turner Max Adventures. We are heading out tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. We are heading to Arizona. Uh, we did a, a trip to Colorado last year, the end of last year. Kind of did a tour of Colorado. We are going to do that same tour of Arizona. So we're going to give a little sample of what Arizona has to offer. So if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that when we upload a video, you will get notified. And just come along with us today. We are getting prepped and ready for our trip. So we are going to show you what we did to prepare, uh, things that we packed, the menu that we're going to have while we're out. We did not eat out once for our trip to Colorado. So stick around and I'll show you our meal plan for this trip. All right, guys, so let's talk food. So over the last couple of weeks, I have set aside a portion of our meals that have been really yummy um, for this moment. So I put them in Ziploc bags, freeze them flat so that they'll fit in this freezer, the tiny freezer, and so that I will know we're going to have some really good food to eat. So let's get to the menu. So if you watched my video the last time from Colorado, I did this trick. I wrote down my menu items, what we were gonna have for dinner. This way I can mark off things that we've had. I can see what's coming up, what I have left in the freezer. I've also wrote beside everything, whether or not we have electric or if we have no electric. That way I'll know whether or not we can use the air fryer, like for the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, or to make brownies, or if it's one of those, hey, let's grill burgers outside and have chips um, if we're not going to have electric. So this has helped a bunch. Um, also, it gives me an idea of what things need to go with other things. Quesadillas that I need a, a side of queso, or we're going to need some vegetables to go along with the shrimp when they cook. Um, so this kind of helps me keep everything straight in my head of what we're going to have and so that I use all of my food. Um, so let's get to the menu. So to start with, we're going to have, and this is in no particular order. I have just made a list of these things, but this doesn't mean we're having them in this order. So we are going to have grilled fillets with cheesy cauliflower and a side salad. Um, we're going to have cheeseburger quesadillas with roasted poblano peppers and cheese with a side of chips and ranch. We're going to have chili with all the toppings, sour cream, Fritos, um, cheese. Um, next, we're going to have the cod fillets. I'm going to fillet the, or I'm going to air fry these and we're going to have them with a side of cocktail sauce and maybe home fries or if we're busy, we may just do regular chips and ranch. We're going to have a chicken stuffing casserole that I made and froze with a baked potato on the side. Um, we are going to have pizza, salad, and ranch. We're going to have sausage gravy and biscuits with a side of scrambled eggs one night. We're gonna do breakfast for dinner. We're gonna have tacos with all the toppings. We're going to have brats, and if we want, we can schedule it kind of around the same time that we have the chili so that we can use the chili as a topping and cheese in Fritos. We are going to have barbecue rib quesadillas. I made ribs a while back, and I went ahead and pulled the meat off the bone, shredded it up, put some more barbecue sauce with it, and I will put that on a quesadilla with some Swiss cheese, and we'll dip that in ranch dressing or barbecue sauce or both. We're going to have chicken and dumplings my mom made and they were so good that I definitely wanted to bring that comfort food from home with us on this trip. And then we are going to have butter chicken over rice. We're going to have spaghetti and pasta and a salad with some Cheddar Bay biscuits. We're going to have a smoked salmon Asian salad with fried wontons and a yummy Asian dressing and some 
of pancakes and bacon with a raspberry pancake sauce. We're going to have blackened chicken wraps with lettuce and ranch dressing. We're going to have shrimp fajita tacos or quesadillas with a side of queso. And we're gonna have a ravioli lasagna with a salad. That is one of the meals that I made ahead. We had it a week ago and I froze that. So that is that gives us 18 choices of meals on this trip. And we may have some of these for lunch but that gives us a good variety of things to eat. So this is our snack drawer. So we love putting little snacks here. We found these baskets at Hobby Lobby probably 2019. Um, they're screwed into the wood panel here, um, but they've worked out really good for grab and go stuff. So we have things like Blue, chocolate covered blueberries, some uh, peanut butter uh, cookies, some applesauce, some keto cookies, our favorites, Tic Tacs, gum, um, bananas here for a banana pudding I'm going to make later that's going to be delicious. Um, so this has worked out really good for us as far as easy to grab snacks. So above the sink is an, an addition to our pantry. This is going to be our chips and other snack drawer. Um, we have our Duke's sausages in here, mainly chips, um, some hiking stuff like some honey that we, honey packets that we take and little peanut butter packets that we put in our backpacks for hiking. So that is the snack pantry. So one tip I would share would be um, hang on to these utensils that you get in takeout. Um, these are great to put in the RV to use up and it keeps you from having to do dishes. These are our to-go little baskets. We use these for sandwiches, anything and everything, but they're just little paper that you can throw away. We get those at Sam's. They come in like a 500 uh, count container. So in this pantry, I have all of my Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, saran wrap, now down here, I have cereal, I have my spices to the side, I have my rice, pizza sauce, Rotel some cereal. It's kind of packed in there. So down here, I have our tea bags. We like to make tea, uh, pancake mix. Some more dressing, raspberry sauce, and then a ton of our low carb tortillas. And we will go through all of those. So the freezer is stocked pretty good. So what I like to do is I'll move a couple of things down um, every other day just to kind of keep the rotation going and keep things thawed so that it's ready to use. Um, we have all of our cheeses. We have a couple of meals already down and ready to go so that when we leave tomorrow we'll have something to eat tomorrow night. Um, 
I have tomato, sour cream, a bunch of sandwich meat for lunches, and then a bunch of lettuce, our smoked salmon, bacon for sandwiches, our little lettuce, our salad container that we got from Amazon. Love this. Keeps, keeps romaine lettuce really crisp and fresh for a long time. That way you can grab and make a salad really quick. And then all of our condiments to the side. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. I will be sure to post the meals of what we have to eat on the nights that we have those. And I will add those in the videos that are coming up. So stay tuned and we will catch you on the road like tomorrow.